Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a new module from Robots Are Red. This is the sump pump. On its surface, it's a noise gate and compression module, but at its core, it's a dynamic effect machine built for chopping, glitching, and reshaping your sound. So noise gates started as a tool to keep your audio clean back in the early days of multi-track recording, but over time people started using them more as creative tools. And the sump pump brings that into modular, turning dynamics into a playground rather than just a technical fix. So back in like the 50s and 60s when multi-track uh, recording was taking off, you needed something that could take out unwanted noise like amp hiss or hums or things like that. So if you're playing a guitar solo and your volume increases past a certain level, the gate will open up allowing the sound through. But then if you stop playing your guitar while say the piano is taking a solo or something, you want the noise gate to shut the gate and stop the sound from going through. So effectively muting it so that that sound doesn't bleed into the mix. It was a tool to clean up sound. And it's the same with compression, that's used to balance sounds. So that way, if someone was whispering, it would sound at the same relative volume as if someone was yelling. And there wouldn't be this huge variance in the dynamics. But sometime around the 80s, people of course started using these tools for more creative applications. Ducking the bass is a classic example of using compression to create sort of pulses and emphasis in your tracks. And gated reverbs make drums sound huge and have a lot of impact. And then of course beyond that there's all kinds of glitch and other kind of experimental sounds that you can make. And that's where I think the sump pump really shines. Although you probably could use it to subtly fix your tracks or clean up your sound, I think that most people are going to use it to as a creative dynamic effect. So I think of this really as an effect module rather than a utility tool. But of course, how you use it is entirely up to you. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the panel, show you all its features, as well as a few creative ways to show how you can use compression and how you can use noise gates to create cool tracks. Full disclosure, Robots Are Red sent this to me for free so I could demo it for you today. If you're interested in purchasing it, you can get it from Robots Are Red's Etsy shop. I'll put a link in the description. And as a special bonus, he's offering a $10 off coupon if you use the code BRAINTREEPUMP. So make sure you check that out. I'll also put a link to Robots Are Red's YouTube channel where he does a pretty in-depth deep dive of the module as well as some of his other cool modules. Check out the links in the description. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that right now. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So first let me walk you through the basic layout and controls. There's an internal envelope which you can control up here with attack and decay. Then just like any compressor, you have a threshold and the level. Unity is denoted here, there's a little black line. So unity is about three o'clock. You can actually sort of reverse <laughs> the amount of gain um, if you crank it up, I'll show that in a second too. Or you can just have it act as a normal compression and, and this will control how much it, the signal is compressed. You have an internal level control right here. This is the switch that lets you switch between gate mode and compression mode. Then down here, as I said in the intro, it's a stereo compressor, so you have a left and right input, a left and right output. You can also take the envelope out for modulating other things through CV. You can modulate both the threshold and the floor. And then finally, these two inputs, one right here and right, one right here, uh, there's an input for ducking, or you can just trigger the um, the envelope yourself by plugging into the engage um, input. All right, so let's get a basic sequence in. I'm using the Mailroom by Mega Modular Corporation. This is a really cool module. I'll do a video on it at some point. Basically an ADSR envelope with a VCA built in. So it makes it really handy. And we'll just come right out of that and go into 
our sump pump, and then it'll come out of the sump pump. So this is just a basic synth voice I have hooked up. This is what it sounds like. Now you can see in this mode, it's not engaged at all. If I wanted to lower the threshold, you'll notice when it does start compressing that this the green light will light up. So that means that the sound has crossed this threshold, the envelopes kicked in, and, uh, and the compressor turned on. So that would be if you wanted to use it to clean up your sound. As I said in the intro, I think this really shines when it's used more as an effect, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna turn the threshold way up. What I've got is a bass drum sound uh, over here by Shockmont Modular's Battering Ram. I'll turn that up. So you can kind of hear it sounds a little bit dull and lifeless, and this is where we want to duck the bass. So what we want, what, if you don't know what ducking the bass is, it's that whenever that kick drum hits, we want the compressor to, to kick in and really squash the sound and then have it release. Now we could do that using the duck input. I found that I get better results just by going into the engage input, because that way I can control the envelope and how much of that ducking of the bass we want. So let's listen to it pump now. So as it's at Unity, you're not gonna hear any change in sound as it's plugged in here. And this is just a, a uh, multiplied trigger of, of what's going into the battering ram. But you can see it's triggering the envelope right here. Um, and as I turn this down, that will control the amount, the floor, that will control how much it's being compressed. You can really start to hear that pumping. Uh, let me just unplug this for a second so you can hear the difference. Sounds awesome. And you can of course control that envelope with the attack and decay. So if you want it to be quicker, you just turn up the decay. Let's let's Play around with that for a second. I'm gonna add in some modulation just to kind of mix up the sound. Also going to modulate, let's modulate, uh, let's modulate the floor because what that's gonna do, actually before we modulate, let me show you. If I turn this up past three o'clock, it actually gives a boost. So you'll hear an emphasis every time the, the kick drum kicks in rather than the sound dropping out. <laughs> That can sound pretty cool if we modulate that with a slow moving LFO or something. So let's hear that. Now, 
if you want to go just to show the other method of ducking the base, um, there's actually an envelope that comes out of the battering ram. So I'm just going to tap into that and you'll notice that it follows the exact envelope of, of the kick drum sound. So it has, it, ha it just has a different sound. It's a little bit punchier of a sound. You, you lose the control of, of uh, this envelope, but it, it sounds different. Check it out. It's pretty cool. It has a little bit of a tighter, punchier sound to it. Uh, let's try something else and we'll go into gate mode. All right, so in this example, I'm going to use the gate mode. I'm actually sending a whole bunch of stuff through the um, Robots Are Red Mingles to give it a nice big stereo field. And I'm using some reverb up there from um, Cumulus. It's an after later audio clone of uh, Mutable Instruments Clouds. I'm gonna set this to Unity first so you can hear what it sounds like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we'll use the noise gate to kind of like chop that sequence up a little bit. All right, so I just switched it around. And so now I'm sending that sequence into mingles and, and also everything in the drums except for the kick drum. And then I'm sending that out into our sump pump. So let's listen to what that sounds like. So as I mentioned before, you can take the CV out of the envelope, in which case this is set kind of slow. So it's going to be this kind of meandering envelope and I'm triggering it right now on a steady rhythm aligned with the drum beat. I'm going to use that to modulate the floor level. So if you remember, if you go up above three o'clock, it increases the volume and this is going to make it sound kind of mangled and kind of cool too. Let's go full on glitchiness and see what we can come up with. All right, so that's the Sump Pump by Robots Are Red. Again, check out the Etsy store. The link's in the description. Use the $10 off code Braintree Pump. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the comments. Check out Robots Are Red. You know, all that stuff. So thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.